For over a century since its establishment in 1923, the Spanish aviation industry has continuously proven its significant role on the global aviation map. From its early pioneering efforts to remarkable advancements in military transport, Spain has left a strong mark on the European aviation industry. And at the heart of this success story, two iconic aircraft models stand out, the CN-235 and the C-295. So what makes the CN-235 and C-295 stand out? How did they conquer the skies together? Let's dive into today's episode. The Spanish aviation industry has a rich history spanning over a century, establishing itself as a vital component of the European aerospace sector. Particularly in military transport, Spain has achieved remarkable milestones. Their success can be attributed in part to two aircraft, modest in size but strategically significant, the CN-235 and the C-295. In case you don't know, the CN-235 is a source of pride for both the Spanish and Indonesian aviation industries, demonstrating their capability to produce high-quality aircraft. The C-295, a robust, reliable, and highly adaptable tactical transport aircraft, is designed for a wide range of missions. These include transporting troops and cargo, maritime patrol, airborne early warning, surveillance and reconnaissance, signals intelligence, close air support, medical evacuation, VIP transport, and aerial firefighting. These two aircraft share a strong connection. The story of these two father and son aircraft begins in the 1920s, when the company Construcciones Aeronauticas SA, or CASA for short, was founded. Throughout the 20th century, CASA produced a variety of aircraft, both their own designs and those built under license. In the 1970s, this company began looking for new projects, and the idea for a new aircraft began to take shape, possibly a passenger airliner or a military transport. However, they realized that they did not have enough resources to undertake this ambitious project on their own. Therefore, they decided to seek a strategic partner, and the partner they chose was Indonesia through the company IPTN. This partnership was beneficial for both sides. Spain gained financial resources, cheap labor, and a potential market. Meanwhile, Indonesia had the opportunity to access advanced aircraft manufacturing technology, as well as experience and know-how from its partner. The result of this collaboration was the creation of AirTech International, a joint venture established in 1979. Immediately, AirTech began working on a new transport aircraft, which would later become the CN-235. What will the appearance of the CN-235 be like? In the early 1980s, the design of the CN-235 military transport aircraft began to take shape. The project was officially unveiled at the Paris Air Show in 1981, marking a significant milestone in its development. The CN-235 was designed as a light military transport aircraft with relatively compact dimensions compared to its counterparts. It measures 21.4 meters in length, has a wingspan of 25.8 meters, and stands 8.2 meters tall. These dimensions are similar to small aircraft like the ATR-42, highlighting its versatility and ability to operate in various terrains. Compared to other military transport aircraft, it has a modest maximum takeoff weight of about 16.1 tons. For comparison, the C-130H Hercules, one of the most widely used military transport aircraft globally, has a maximum takeoff weight exceeding 70 tons. In terms of external appearance, the aircraft does not differ significantly from other military transport aircraft. It retains a high wing design, two powerful turboprop engines, a rear ramp for easy cargo loading and unloading, and a single vertical tail. However, it is precisely this simplicity and efficiency in design that have made it a popular choice for many air forces worldwide. Additionally, the CN-235's landing gear is designed with a tricycle configuration and reinforced for durability, allowing it to operate on various runways, including unpaved airstrips. This feature enhances the aircraft's versatility, making it well-suited for deployment in environments with limited aviation infrastructure. In terms of capacity, the CN-235's cargo hold is spacious enough to accommodate 51 troops, 35 paratroopers, or up to 6 tons of cargo. This capacity enables the aircraft to perform a wide range of missions, from transporting military personnel and equipment to delivering humanitarian aid. And now, here's the part you're probably most interested in. 
The aircraft is powered by two General Electric CT7 turboprop engines, each producing 1,750 horsepower. These engines enable the aircraft to reach a maximum speed of 450 kilometers per hour, a service ceiling of 7.6 kilometers, and a range of 4,355 kilometers. Thanks to these impressive capabilities, it can be utilized for both civilian and military purposes. This highlights its versatility and adaptability, making it a valuable asset for a wide range of operational needs. The development of the CN-235 progressed rapidly. On November 11, 1983, the prototype made its first flight, followed by the first production aircraft on August 19, 1986. After extensive testing, despite some challenges, the CN-235 received certification in 1986 from Spain, Indonesia, and the United States. The first aircraft was delivered to customers in 1987, and on March 1, 1988, it officially entered regular service. With its modern design, competitive performance, and reasonable price, around six US million, the CN-235 quickly established itself in the market. It filled the gap between light and medium transport aircraft, making it a popular choice for many countries. Its versatility is further demonstrated by its ability to be adapted for various missions, including maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, VIP transport, and multiple other configurations. The adaptability and flexible modifications of the CN-235 have allowed it to develop multiple variants quickly, catering to diverse user needs. Versions for maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, VIP transport, and more have continuously emerged, demonstrating the aircraft's immense potential for various roles. This highlights the significant interest in this aircraft from both military and civilian markets. By 1989, when the aircraft entered mass production, AirTech International had received 133 orders, 74 for the military version and 59 for the civilian version. As of 2023, approximately 354 aircraft have been assembled. This is a substantial number, reflecting the aircraft's success in the global market. While not the best-selling model, it has gained widespread use in dozens of countries worldwide, spanning both developing and developed nations, including those with strong aerospace industries. Turkey is the largest operator of the CN-235 with 59 aircraft in service. However, during the development of these variants, a certain division of labor emerged between the two member companies of AirTech International. IPTN and CASA often carried out modifications independently, leading to noticeable differences between the versions developed by each company. Although Indonesia was initially expected to be the primary production site for the aircraft, in reality, production tilted in favor of Spain. Over time, most of the manufacturing process gradually shifted to Spain, resulting in approximately 80% of the aircraft being assembled on the Iberian Peninsula. By the late 1990s, changes took place within the joint venture. IPTN was reorganized into the modern Indonesian aerospace industry, while CASA became part of EAD as now Airbus. In Indonesia, the focus shifted more toward the civilian sector, leading to the development of the N250 a turboprop passenger aircraft derived from the CN-235. And this is when the masterpiece C-295 was born. In 1996, CASA decided to introduce the C-295, a natural evolution of the CN-235. This new aircraft was slightly larger and had 50% greater operational capability. While it was still based on the CN-235 platform, it underwent a series of significant upgrades, including changes in size, weight, engines, avionics, and cargo capacity. So in the details, how superior it is? In terms of dimensions, the C-295 is 3 meters longer than the CN-235, providing more internal space and improved cargo capacity. Its maximum takeoff weight is also significantly higher, reaching 21 tons compared to the predecessor's 16 tons, allowing it to carry more cargo and fuel. The cargo capacity of this aircraft has also been significantly improved compared to the CN-235. Its cargo bay is more than 50% larger, allowing it to carry up to 9.2 tons of cargo compared to the father. This is equivalent to transporting 70 soldiers, 48 paratroopers, or three Land Rover vehicles. Due to the increased weight, the landing gear of the C-295 was also upgraded. The main landing gear was reinforced for added durability, and the nose gear was modified to have two wheels instead of the single wheel design found on the CN-235, 
enhancing landing stability. Additionally, the aircraft features retractable landing gear and an uninterrupted 12.69 meter pressurized cabin, allowing it to operate at altitudes of up to 30,000 feet while still maintaining excellent low altitude flight characteristics. It also boasts impressive short takeoff and landing performance, enabling operations from unpaved, soft, and sandy, or grass runways. In terms of performance, it is equipped with more powerful engines compared to the CN-235. Its Pratt & Whitney PW-127G engines produce 2,644 horsepower with six bladed propellers, outperforming the CN-235's General Electric CT-7 engines which generate 1,750 horsepower with four-bladed propellers. However, this aircraft's cruise speed only slightly increases to 260 knots, and its maximum range is 4,587 kilometers, not significantly improved over the CN-235. This suggests that most of the additional power is used to compensate for the aircraft's increased weight. Besides, the C-295's avionics have also been upgraded with more advanced systems, by 2019, its cockpit was equipped with the Collins Proline Fusion Avionics Suite, similar to those found on business jets, providing pilots with a more comfortable and efficient working environment. CASA designed this aircraft primarily for military missions, making it more versatile than the CN-235. It has numerous variants tailored for various roles, including cargo transport, medical evacuation, passenger transport, maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, electronic reconnaissance, AWACS, aerial refueling, and even bomber and gunship configurations. And this is when it showcases its appeal. As of now, the C-295 has secured 300 orders following Kazakhstan's purchase of a third aircraft, configured for transport, for the Aviation Service of the National Security Committee. This new aircraft will join the two C-295S already in operation by the agency. The Spanish Air and Space Force holds the highest total, surpassing 90,000 flight hours, while the Brazilian Air Force has recorded the highest individual aircraft utilization, exceeding 9,000 flight hours. CASA, the company behind the success of the CN-235 and C-295, is not a giant like Boeing or Lockheed Martin. However, it is an essential part of the European aviation industry and has made significant contributions to the growth of Airbus, the leading global aerospace group we know today. What do you think of these two planes? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks and safe flight always.